What's going on guys and welcome to a new video. So in this one, I wanna share with you in my opinion what the five easiest niches are to get started in right now. Now, please don't get that mistaken with easy. I don't want anybody to watch this video and think dropshipping is an easy business to make money because to be honest, that couldn't be further from the truth. Yes, it's an easy business to get started in because it's low startup costs, it's low risk, things are very quick. But when it actually comes to building a sustainable business that can provide you with an income for many years to come, that's where the true difficulty lies. Yes, it's a business easy to get started in, but it's not necessarily easy to make money. The hardest point in your journey will be finding that one product that changes everything for you. As cheesy as it sounds, it only takes one product to significantly change your life. So to help you find that one product, today I'm gonna to share with you five of the easiest niches to get started in right now to point you in the right direction so you know what types of products that you need to be looking for. And niche number one is solar lights. There is no doubt about it that solar lights are about to explode in popularity here in the UK. And just to prove this, let's take a look at Google Trends for the search term of solar lights. So this is in the UK 2004 to present. If you're watching this video in any other country, head over to Google Trends. It's 100% free to use. Put in your country and it will tell you whether now is the right time or not for you to get started with solar lights. If you drag your cursor across, you can see as and when the search term for these things spike in popularity. And what we can see is that it tends to be in kind of May time in which it reaches its peak popularity. So if you're watching this in April, then now is the time to start looking at solar products, building a store and getting some traffic on there. What's also great about Google Trends is it tells you where that interest is coming from. So if you put worldwide in the top as an example, so we'll go up actually and show you, put solar lights 2004 to present, then what we can see is the most popular place people search for this term is in the UK, followed by Australia, followed by South Africa, New Zealand, and United States. And there you have it, you have your target countries, you have where your customers are. If we go back to the United Kingdom, because of course it's made up by four different countries, and what you might be interested to find out is that England is actually the least popular place people search for this sort of thing. The most popular be in Wales followed by Scotland and Northern Ireland so they would probably be your starting points when you start to advertise your products. At the bottom as well what it also gives you is related topics and related queries. So if you want to be a bit more specific with the type of products that you sell so for example instead of just generic solar lights you might stick to fairy lights because this is currently on breakout and if we click this and go to the top again we can see exactly when these sorts of things start to spike in popularity and what we can see is that we're at the very beginning of when it starts to go up so between now and sort of October December time it's going to very quickly spike in popularity and there's going to be a lot more people looking to buy these sorts of products when looking for solar products to sell then in my opinion try and stay away from just the generic ones like these here which anybody could go to B&Q and buy try and find a product that somebody will never have seen before that carries that wow factor so for example a product like this which has like a flame effect it's out of the ordinary it has a unique selling point and it's probably not ready readily available in somebody's local DIY store. And the same things for these mushrooms here. As you can see, there's lots of different colors. They're quite unique. And again, something people have probably never seen before. Don't shy away from expensive products either. So if we have a look at the premium related products, these beams here, which are anywhere from 18 to 70 pounds, these are a proven seven figure product. If you haven't seen the video, check out what I uploaded this time last week. It is a review of a Shopify dropshipping store selling this exact product and have sold over over $1 million worth. Moving on to niche number two, and it has to be cycling. The clocks have gone forward, the weather's getting better, more and more people are gonna be getting outside and exercising, and one of those ways of exercising is on a bike. This is also reiterated in the Google Trends term. As we can see from December onwards, it starts to increase and increase and increase, and kind of reaches its peak popularity in July. Now, don't worry if you're on a slightly downward trend. As we can see in August, it's still very popular. So if you get started now, you've still got a good, three or four months of capitalizing on this niche. The best thing about cycling too as well is there's some great winter products as well. It is a popular niche that people buy products for all 
year round. Just to show you some cycling products from AliExpress as well, just to kind of reiterate my points from the previous product, stay away from the generic readily available products in somebody's local Halford store. The other thing to stay away from are things that people become brand snobby about. So I'm not a big cyclist, I won't be able to tell you specifically, but for example, in golf, which is another great niche by the way, um, to get involved in, but it's not actually on this list. When it comes to golf, the golf ball that people use, the clubs that people use, the clothing that people wear, um, people tend to be quite snobby about it. They want the latest big name brands because of the reputation that they carry. So I'm sure there's gonna be things like that in the cycling niche as well. So try and stay away from those types of products because you'll never compete. Instead, go for something where brand is irrelevant, but still choose a product, of course, that has a genuine benefit to it and has that wow factor as well, which is gonna capture attention on social media. Niche number three is camping. For the same reasons as cycling, more and more people are going on camping in holidays because because let's be honest, nobody wants to camp in the freezing cold and in the rain. So when the nicer weather comes, this is when people head out. I want to include the camping niche because when it comes to dropshipping products, there's just an endless, endless, endless supply of different things and there's so many proven past winners as well that drop in and out of being successful and year on year they continue to be accessible because year on year there is new people looking for those exact products let's just double check though and just confirm this on google trends we can see again there is clear opportunities for camping things here in the uk at certain times of the year we can see now it started to kind of creep up but we're only at 34 it's going to spike and actually peak in sort of August time, September time. So again, if you get involved now, you've still got a solid four or five months. If you want some product ideas as well, always check the related queries. So camping pods, that might be something that you might be able to sell. Don't just think always small, cheap products. You might be able to find a supplier that sells these things. As for camping products, they're pretty endless. Um, again, just go for something that's quite unique and has that wow factor and isn't readily available in somebody's local camping shop. So one of the products that I featured, in fact, a couple of weeks ago in my recommendations um, was an outdoor single bed like this. Now you might be thinking, well, this is pretty generic. However, what was quite unique about it, um, let's just mute this. Let me see if I can find it, if this is actual one. This is what's quite unique about it, is it actually has a built-in manual air pump. And the big advantage to this is, you don't have to carry around a separate pump in a box, which always gets crushed and always gets lost, it has a built-in pump. And because it's not an electric one either, you don't need um, electricity supply or any kind of power source. And it also makes the bed really lightweight as well. So if this is the actual one I found, I believe the whole thing when folded up only weighs half a kilogram, 500 grams. So in my opinion, a great product. Moving on to niche number four, we have jewelry. So this is for the people who are in a slightly longer term game and are looking to build something sustainable regardless of what time of year it is. So if we have a look at the Google Trends search term for jewelry, we can see that even in its lower kind of state of popularity it's still above a 50 it's still a very popular thing people are looking for but what we can also see is that from now onwards in summertime it's at its very minimum so it gives you plenty of time to put a store together find a decent supplier test the waters with some products to then really put yourself in a great situation to really capitalize on q4 because what we can see september october november and december time for obvious reasons jewelry makes a great great gift for christmas when you are searching for jewelry on aliexpress though so this comes with a strong warning do not go into generic cheap crappy alloy jewelry like these because people don't want to buy this sort of thing the sort of jewelry that you need to go into has a specific target market and that target market has to be obvious to your consumer when they see it so for example this cat ring it's not for dog owners it's not for people who go fishing it's for people who love cats and might want a cat on their ring on their finger this one here is an owl ring this is for people who love owls it has a specific target market that you can target if you try and sell broad products that apply to everyone in my opinion you're really going to struggle especially on platforms like Facebook. If you go on any product research software or service, some of the best-selling products you'll come across on social media 
will be jewelry for grandparents. So I featured again in some product recommendations. In fact, it was in my Facebook Ads Friday weekly series. Um, two weeks ago, it was a bracelet for a newborn baby that had their name on. Um, it had thousands and thousands of comments from grandparents saying, my daughter's expecting, can't wait to give this to them. They by far are the biggest buyers on Facebook. Females over the age of 50, i.e. those people who then become grandparents. So any kind of jewelry that's kind of aimed towards to show how much you love your daughter or how much you love your grandchildren child those are the winners in my opinion when it comes to selling jewelry i'm um, certainly on the social media platforms niche number five has to be toys you cannot do a niche recommendation video without mentioning toys more specifically children's toys and baby toys to show you the google trends information again so toys uk 2004 to present there's clear times obvious times when people will be looking to buy this product at the moment, we are pretty much at the bottom, but as we can see, we are slowly starting to creep up and hit the height of when people are looking to buy these sorts of things. So again, if you're watching this video now, it gives you, especially if you're a beginner, it gives you enough time to put yourself in a situation by building a store, tweaking the store, finding some products, finding a good supplier, finding the products that you know is going to work to then put yourself in a position to really capitalize on Q4. Now you might be thinking, I'm getting way ahead of myself. Christmas is flipping ages away, but trust me, do not underestimate the power of being prepared. If you're watching this video and you're thinking, I wanna make 10 grand in the next two months, then you'll probably never ever make two grand. A better way of having it, a better approach will be thinking, I'm gonna put myself in a position where I can make 10 grand through Q4 and give yourself those few months to continue your education, continue building your Shopify store, continue looking at products, working with suppliers, etc. Again, if we come down into the related queries, we can get some specific products recommendations. Obviously, I don't condone selling trademarked toys unless you have the licenses to do so, but fidget toys are currently currently on a breakout, so that could be your starting point. If you want my advice then when it comes to selling toys, again, don't go for some generic toy that they can buy from their local supermarket or buy from their local toy shop. Go for something that they've probably never seen before that has some kind of educational value and is not a screen. Keeping in mind what I said earlier about grandparents being the best buyers, if you can find a toy that has some educational value, some kind of construction toy that's gonna to get kids away from screens, I've seen it time and time again with my own business as well as with the proven products series that I do every single week. It is always, always, always the grandparents that are buying these things. And to give you a couple of quick examples then, both of these examples are proven six-figure products. So both of these products have made over $100,000. We have the mini pocket microscope. This allows kids to go out into their garden and look at leaves, look at dirt, look at stones, whatever it may be, and see them in a form which they never will have seen before. It gets children out of the house, getting some fresh air, and most importantly, off a mobile phone. And we also have these magic handwriting books, which allow a child, again, to get off a phone and actually write with a pen and practice their writing. And of course, practice makes perfect. What's so unique about these books as well, if I can find it, is that over time it actually disappears. So it's not something that parents constantly have to keep replacing. It's something that the child can keep reusing time and time again and get lots of use out of. And with that being said then, guys, that is the five easiest niches to start right now in my opinion hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to comment like and subscribe thanks again for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one